The second method to find out the friction factor is to use the Colebrook formula. This is one of the standard methods for calculating the value of the friction factor. The Colebrook equation is given by this uh, relatively complex uh, equation, 2 times log based on 10 divided by epsilon over d divided by 3.7 plus 2.51 and we have Reynolds number and one more friction factor to the power of 0.5 and this is called the Colebrook equation and just like the example of the Moody chart we can calculate the Reynolds number and the epsilon value is given so for example if Reynolds number is 50,000 and the relative roughness is 0 0.001 and our Colbrook equation becomes f to the power of 1 half minus 2 log 10 0 0.001 3.7 plus 2.51 times 50,000 f to the power of one half. If you solve this equation, then you can determine the value of the friction factor. A difficulty here is that f is a solution variable located on the left hand side, but we have one more f, in fact, inside this log based on 10. So this equation is not really straightforward to solve. So you need to solve it numerically, either using manual iteration, meaning that you made an initial guess of the value of the f, and you either use the um, Newton's iteration and some other iteration techniques, or you can use the um, computer software such as the MATLAB or Python. And I'll show you how, but before I talk about how to solve the an equation using for example, a MATLAB, it's uh, useful to rearrange the terms so that every term can be located on the left hand side of this equation. In other words, 1 over f to the power 1 half plus 2 log 10 divided by 0 0.001, 3.7 plus 2.51, 50,000 to the power of one half equal to zero. So it's more convenient um, to find a root or roots of this equation. So how do we do it numerically? So before I show it to you, let's do this a uh, very simple example. So x squared equal to 1, and we immediately know that the solution of this equation is simply x e is equal to plus minus 1, because we learned how to do how to solve it. But how do we solve it numerically using MATLAB, for example? So again, just like the rearrangement that I did. So let's rearrange the terms on the left-hand side so that the, it becomes x squared minus 1 equal to 0. And we find, and we know that there are two roots, two roots of this equation. In solving this equation of x squared equal to 1, so again, um, I rearrange the terms 
so that we have only terms uh, x squared minus 1 on the left hand side and the right hand side is 0. And what this function implementation shows you is that given a value of x, it returns the value of the y. And y is just a um, function evaluation of x squared minus 1. Okay. And if uh, we can find the zero root of this y or the, the, the root of x where this y equal to zero, then this is going to be the, uh, the solution of x squared equal to 1. And given this function, how do we find the zero root? And in the MATLAB, there is a comment called f0 uh, exactly doing that um, the, the job. So we evaluate using this uh, function root in the interval between minus 2 and 0. And this minus 2 and 0 are arbitrary. You can use a different values. Then one of the answers is minus 1. And we can repeat the same thing because we know that there are two roots. And again, uh, root in the interval between 0 and 2. And we get 1. And uh, this is how you find it. And you can uh, play around with the different interval uh, so that you can uh, and, the, and the, you can check the, if the solution is sensitive to the choice of the, your interval. To solve the Colebrook formula, we can follow the same step. Here I um, have this um, the MATLAB uh, script uh, named the friction factor dot m. Again, given a friction factor f, it returns the uh, value of the y, and the name of the function is the friction factor, the same as the file name. Here I define the Reynolds number to be 50,000, just like the example that I show you. And relative roughness, epsilon over d, I call it uh, e. Uh, this is just a variable name. And the value is 0 0.001, so, um, the same as the example that I gave you. So here, uh, the because I rearranged the, the, all the terms in the Colebrook formula to the left-hand side, and this is the left-hand side uh, well, um, of my Colebrook equation, and I implemented the, uh, the, the terms, and I equate them um, with to the y. And this is the function evaluation of the left hand side of the Colbert equation. And we want to find the zero root of this y. Again, how do I do this? I use the same comment, f0. And using this function friction factor. And again, this interval, uh, the lower and upper bound of the interval is its choice is arbitrary. For now, I just chose 10 to the minus 3 and 10 to the minus 1. How do I choose the interval? You can take a look at the, the Moody chart and you can, some, you can give some reasonable um, the guesses for lower and upper bounds of the interval in which the, this F0 comment of the MATLAB is trying to find the solution. And MATLAB returns 0 0.024, and that's going to be a similar to the value you find from the Moody chart. You can check it yourself.